Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. Hello, welcome to the podcast. I'm going to be doing a podcast on a movie called Close Encounters of the Third Kind. I'm a big sci-fi geek. I'm sure people could tell if they looked on my page and saw my content. This movie captivated me as a kid. Came out in 1977, directed by Steven Spielberg. Um, oh, starring Richard Dreyfuss, Terry Gaw. Movie had a lot going for it. Did well. <clears throat> Was a blockbuster, a, a pet project for Steven Spielberg that paid off. And it's not a mind blowing special effects extravaganza blow em up movie. It has a charm to it the music you just can't get over um john williams score and this actually using it in the theme everything about the movie kind of still holds its charm for me i think it holds up although it's just not going to be your independence day where you know aliens come to earth and there's a big war this was a everyday man gets wrapped up in this um, UFO experience and starts to realize other people are into this too and are affected and it starts affecting his life, his home life, his married life, his children he starts becoming obsessed with things and it all culminates at the end really because from the beginning to end it's just a really good fun story interesting it has a uh, enough humor Richard Dreyfuss is great in it uh, there's a element with Terry Gaw that I think is uh, done really well although she's not the wife uh, I think she's one of the other um, UFO people who uh, have had an experience and I think she's worried about her child that he meets on the road and there's some cool sequences throughout the movie but like I said it doesn't rely on a, we're going to wow you with all these special effects and granted uh, what were they going to try in 1977 but you had your Star Wars and you had the elements that were, they were out there and been done for a while this relied on solid storytelling great cinematography uh, the mood it lets it sit on certain scenes there are scenes that will always be um memorable and he's uh, he's making it uh he's, he's building a, like a mountain range out of his uh mashed potatoes and stuff it's just a real charming movie that really holds a place in my heart there's a love for science fiction that'll probably never die these type of movies are rare you know you're, you're always looking for a uh war scene a fight uh what monuments will be uh, exploded, how much uh, death and carnage is done to the planet, that type thing. This had the feel of uh, how families are affected by this UFO experience and the underlying uh, meaning of a close encounter of the third kind. There's um, a book that came out that someone had define things on what you would call a close encounter of the first kind, the second kind, the third kind is uh, observing um, aliens instead of just um, maybe seeing a, a ship or something. So it has its uh, roots in that. Uh, oh, they call them ufologists, which is fucking ridiculous. But okay, hey, look, yeah. everybody have their fun. <laughs> J. Allen Hymix classification of close encounters with aliens. And like I said, deep meaning, pretty good. It has a, a feel good storyline of hope, and there's a little darkness in there, but it, it really is a play on our fascination 
our exploration of space potentially uh, what would be an encounter does it connect with people who have been missing or lost uh, Voyager and Star Trek did a great thing with um, finding um, like uh, historical figures that have been missing you know, have crashed and never found their bodies and their ships and Close Encounters just really pays off it, at the end it's just you get chills I get the hair stand up on me it's just a really great movie gives you the feels it has a warmth and a growth everything works well in the pacing even watching it now although like i said you're not going to get your every 30 minutes guns going off explosions what are we going to do how are we going to infiltrate no this is just how a, a families are affected by these phenomenon and it goes into a deeper meaning with the character and how it's almost um does something to his cognitive processes just by experiencing these things it's doing something to his subconscious and it culminates like i said at the end and it's that famous scene and it's special effects are amazing the music the tones they use which was you know became a cultural product of our times and you you know the sounds when you hear them i just love this movie I watch it as many times as I can when I'm in the mood, but it has to be that mood because I am an action junkie, so I would love to, uh, you know, jump into a real crazy movie, Guardians of the Galaxy, and uh, some of the newer Star Treks here and there. This is not that. It's just going to be a story first, heartfelt, meaningful movie. That at the end, just, uh, I remember, I think I even cried as a kid, maybe. You know, it has that, um, doesn't have the appeal of E.T., where, you know, you you just attach yourself to this being who, you know, just captures your heart and wins you over, and there's, like, turmoil going on with the government. This has a little bit of the government turmoil, but it's more like, um they're preparing for this and they think they've got it figured out they're trying to figure out how to communicate because the ufo phenomenon is the alien's way of communicating with us and through lights and sounds it's just spectacular fun all around like i said you'll it'll move your heartstrings it'll play with them a little bit it'll give you a lot of the um elements that a good story will and in a good way and the right way so when it's making you question his home life and how it's impacting his relationship with his wife and his, the new people he meets it, it it does give you a little bit of that angst as a kid and you're looking at uh, you know family situations and but it is that element of wonder and um you know, are we alone in the universe? I mean, what are the three big questions, right? I mean, what are we here for? Is there a God? Are we alone in the universe? My thoughts are we'll find a probe or a probe has been found type thing, but I have no belief that aliens are visiting us doing experiments and all that stuff. No, it's, it's always been just unidentified flying objects, probably from the government and uh, secret projects. There was a really cool thing I saw on how before the age of drones were put in and everybody had their own, you know, model airplanes type things you could fly around and now on another level, that that was also the product of UFO phenomenon. Like before they were mainstream and known and they were being experimented on and tested and used, lo and behold, we've got small man craft that could do incredible things. Anyway. The spectacle is not a action-packed romp. Close Encounters is a deep, great story. Film shot wonderfully. Music is spot on. The acting, the chemistry, all works. But it has to be, I guess, your thing to go through it. You know, um, yeah, I, I would call it a, you know, maybe a sci-fi drama, but it. It's a staple in filmmaking, I think. Uh, of course, it's Steven Spielberg, so how can you go wrong? Give it a shot. Stay healthy, everybody. Be well.
I'll see everybody next time.